Bermuda. So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my friends, I killed, why did you die to me? I killed, I know, one, two, three, four champions, I can't believe you're trolling. No, it was supposed to be my friends, I killed, why did you die to me? I killed, I know, one, two, three, four champions, I can't believe you're trolling. No, 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 it was supposed to be my friends I killed, why did you die to me? I killed, I know, one, two, three, four champions I can't believe you're trolling No, it was supposed to be my friends I killed, why did you die to me? I killed, I know, one, two, three, four champions I can't believe you're trolling
Only come back.
Roll it up, we gon' burn it down. Okay. And welcome on in to Cerbex Center right here on South Dakota School of Mines and Technologies campus for a for week four of the Collegiate League of Legends tournament, would you say, or season. Yep. I'm Adam EV500 Thompson. Joining me today, the eSports coordinator here at South Dakota Mines, Wyatt Soxboy 3 Ingle. We have a great matchup for you today. The SD Mine Hard Rockers are taking on Concordia University, Wisconsin Falcons. And we are underway. And into pick and ban. So, see how this shapes out. Both teams sitting at a record of one win and two losses. Can we flip those? And we'll get you the first ban. The first ban was Darius.
Next band going to be coming in. Wouldn't surprise me if we see the Zoe. Nope, the Lucian band is going to be next. <coughs> and next is going to be Brand. Um, only Des has been playing Brand support in the past three in the past three weeks. Yep, and you definitely don't want a Brand. You know, oh, getting no. those early game leads and early kills can really stunt your snowball. So, I and think next, it's a good band. Next is going to be the Aswell. That's going to be a band away from themselves and from Yuki. One of the things that we notice is that um, Lucky tr Lunch Tray is is. Yep, he pulled out the Yasuo and. Their, yeah. One of their wins last week. Yeah. Let's see. The Zen is next off the table for Silly Learner for Concordia. And we apologize for the delay in our stream and our, and our going live. Uh, Concordia could not get a hold of one of their players to get on for today. But they finally did. And we are underway in week four. Both teams are one in three right now. One and, yeah, one and uh, two. One and two. Forget it's week four. Math is hard. Yeah. Still halfway through the season, right? Yeah, we're at the halfway point. Just tipping over. All right, so now first pick for the Hard Rockers coming through. Malphite hovered and locked in. Which has been a great champion yeah, for Sam. Undervalue has been playing that a lot, so... Uh, next, we are going to be looking at the Kha'Zix was the last band, just so everyone knows. Kha'Zix very strong right now in the jungle. See who the next pick is going to be. <coughs> First pick is going to be the Draven. And they pull out the Draven. They've Lunch. done a little bit of scouting, it yeah. seems. Taking, um, taking Lawrence's Draven away, which he just pulled out at practice last night. So we'll see how Facts and Logic is able to perform on that one. Next is going to be the Camille. <coughs> which for the jungle it looks like. So don't know how good it is anymore uh, due to the fact that the jungle nerves and what they did to Camille in 9.2. Yeah, her so. wave clear was nerfed quite a bit as... I think it's her, one of her, she is no longer able to CC the camps, so she takes more damage during her clear. Next is going to be the Lissandra. Lissandra being very good currently still, even though she has been nerfed a bunch. I think Riot was trying to send a message by saying that, hey, we don't want to see Lissandra anymore, and yet people are still finding ways to play her. Yep. Still such a good team fighter, and the wave clear that it has to offer makes it a pretty relevant champion in this particular meta. Hovering the Karthus, and the Karthus is going to be locked in. Void is going to play that. Ooh, then uh, I hope a Silas ban follows. <laughs> we really hope so. That is some. That was a PTSD thing from last week. In yeah. case, if you didn't catch our match, we um, the Hard Rockers had a Silas in their game, and that just rapidly went against Karthus. I mean, stole it every time he had a chance. Yeah, it was pretty tragic. Which, by the way, I, when I played Karthus last night, um, no, uh, Silas last night, it's really easy to steal alts. Yeah. No, you, you. The range on it is absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Basically, if Silas wants your alt, he's he, going to he, grab it. He's going to grab it straight up, which I recommend, ladies and gentlemen, that we petition Riot to you know, or nerf the crap out of him. Yeah. <laughs> or just get rid of him altogether. Caitlyn's going to be in the next band. Definitely did some work on to Lawrence and now Silas. There we Glad go. Glad the team was listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, well, I, I'm sure they had the same learning experiences <laughs> last. They're like, nope, we are not dealing with that two weeks in a row. Exactly. Let's see. All right, so now three seconds. Or the last ban. And it's going to be Thresh. Taking that one out of the game. Even though they already had the Morgana set up. Yeah. Is a, I mean, that might go mid lane, but if it goes support, pretty good counter to Thresh. I just think they didn't want to see Craig Enigma on it. Oh, yeah. With the 70% win rate. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
It's pretty yep. scary. It's it's really scary. Nidalee is going to be the last ban. That is actually most of their junglers' picks for the past three weeks. And now they're in Ecton. That's no surprise at all. Uh, Facts and Logic has is a one-trick Renekton player. Has played several times on that champ, but has played very well with Renekton. So it's going to be the Renekton Malphite now we're seeing here. Might. This will probably be the ADC pick now. Have to see what he's it's going to be. Jinx. Jinx. It's picked up. That's a win for me. I was saying we should play Jinx today, and yeah. Mm. It scales really well. It scales really well. You want somebody like that to have a lot of peel. And it sets down <laughs> in the traps that it yeah. can set down. Makes for a really great zoning tool. Yep. And now the Tom Kench going to be picked up for Greg Nigma. Greg Nigma played this last week and did fairly well with it. And next is going to be the Ari going right, to be picked so. up. And that Ari is going to go mid. It, it looks like it's. So Let's we're seeing the see. final trades go off here. It's going to be Camille Jungle. Renekton top, Ari mid lane, Draven ADC, Morgana as a support. Yeah. And this seems like a great opportunity to introduce the starting lineup for the Hard Rockers. Yes, since we didn't have a chance to do that. Yeah. Um, so in the top lane, we have Sam, undervalued Nesbitt, on the Malphite. In the jungle, we have Alex, Void Matthias. On the Karthus in the mid lane, we have Yo Yuki, Yoki Lewis on the Lissandra. At the bot lane, we have Lawrence, Lawrence Hartnett on the Jinx. And at support, we have Avery, Grey Enigma, Schroer on the Tom Kench. And then for Concordia University, Wisconsin, we have Fax and Logic up in the top lane with Renekton, Silly Learner with Camille in the jungle. In the mid lane, Ari, that is going to be Vanguard. Lunch tray is uh, is going to be playing ADC with the Draven and Morgana as support with only deaths. That's kind of a scary name for a support, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> only deaths. Especially when when that person, particular person, is going to be playing. Um, I gotta remember how I had my stream deck set up. Especially when that person's playing Morgana, because Morgana. Mm -hmm is going to be playing a lot of that. So uh, is one of those things, once you hit the queue, you are 80% of the time going to die. Yeah, hopefully your supports, that, and that's kind of where the Tom Kench comes in, right? Yep, that's Lawrence gets hit, then Tom yep. Kench comes in and saves the day. Saves the day. I do, um, one of the things I write, like about Hard Rockers lineup is that during the team fight, you can get the peel that you need, yep. the escape, and she could just continue the shoot. I mean... That's what she's really good at. Yeah. That's what Jinx was really... I, I, we've, I've been seeing a lot more Jinx being played in, like, LEC and LCK L, um, and LPL, where it's literally... She just stands in one spot and just unloads. Yep. I mean, it is ridiculous. Once you get that... And now that Infinity Edge is back, mm -hmm. Jinx the, is even, more, you know, stronger. For all the ADC mains out there, when I saw <laughs> that I had to switch to something else because of IE changes, yeah. that was a great day when I found out that... Uh, They're reverting yeah. a lot of the crit items. Yep, that they went back to IE coming with 25% crit. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you get, like, uh, Wrath of Fire Cannon after that, you're going to get 50% crit. And you can literally snowball the game mm -hmm. just by building crit. You can get 100 crit in four, four items now. It is ridiculous. It's, um, I think, what was it, um, yesterday during practice, uh, Lawrence was playing Jin and was doing almost 800 AD with crit. Yep. I mean, it was... It was absolutely insane. His crit shot on Jin, I think, was doing like n almost over a thousand damage. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of good things for this lineup. We got about forty seconds until we get into the game, so we don't really. I don't know which lane to watch, just because I think all these lanes are really kind of interesting to see. You know, Jinx and Draven. Yep. Um, Ari and Lissandra. That's kind of a cool, unique matchup. I know. Yuki's been playing some Lissandra lately, so it's going to be kind of nice to see that. So, And we just want to thank everyone at home watching the stream today. Yeah, It's going to be an awesome stream. Uh, make sure you get this shared on Facebook, on social media, and get your friends to watch. What other things are going to happen? Um, well, well, we can talk a little bit uh, about these matchups. Are you, are you doing the diamond giveaway today? 
I don't think so. No diamond giveaway. We were didn't really. I mean, we have kind of an unofficial viewing party just right outside the door, but I wasn't able to get any of the rooms reserved since uh, the holiday weekend. Yes, President's happy President's Day so. weekend, everybody. Help you having a three day weekend. I wish I knew what that was like, but here <laughs> Working we go. Working man. Yeah, let's check out the. We'll go ahead. We'll pull up the mastery points for you guys. I don't know if there's really an easy way to pull them up without the overlays. No, there's not. Hang <coughs> So, pardon us while well, we have the in-game overlays up for you. But, uh, as you can see there, the mastery points there. Star Guardian already has got, uh, wow, some good mastery points. This uh, lunch tray has Yeah, Master facts Devilson. and logic. Almost half a million mastery points on that. Now, Renekton. in case you want to know what a one-trick is, that's a one-trick. <laughs> yeah, that's double the most mastery points I have on a champion. <laughs> Which is Lux. Which My, is I have Lux. around a 200,000 <laughs> Which on Lux. is Lux. Okay. Pretty much the only champ I played in Season <laughs> 7. And then I had less than 10 matches on it in did, all of Season 8. <laughs> did, you, did you int? When? Season 7? No. I was uh, I was a pretty good Lux player. I was in Lux. I was really good, too. Like someone well, you would pick up in their draft. Then Lu Yeah. And then Comet. That was before Comet was out. And then Lux actually got maybe really got a little bit strong. stronger when Comet came out. Yeah. Well, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, report lunch tray does not have that Draven Draven skin, so <laughs> you're not going to get the. Does Draven. have the pool party skin? If, if you're going to play Draven, I expect to see Draven Draven skin. Yeah, every time. Mastery seven Draven though, so he he knows how to catch those axes. He knows how to catch them axes, but the real question is, can he surpass Greg Nigma and Lawrence, one of the dynamic duo bot lanes that you can have mm -hmm. in? The Midwest. Oh my lord! What is this loading screen? Yeah, time? I saw the players. Oh my lord! By the time um, the players were in game, our spectator delay was almost over because they were sitting on the screen forever. <laughs> oh my lord, Riot! What are you doing? I think this is more of a connection issue on one of the opposing players' sides because I mean we're all here in the facility. We definitely loaded in fast. So, thank you, Concordia University, for that one. And <laughs> we are now wow. loading on the, the map. BM, <laughs> the BM has already started, and we haven't even gone anywhere. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, here we are jumping onto Summoner's Rift. Both teams, one win, two losses, looking to break even with this one. Hard Rocker Esports taking on Concordia University Falcon Esports. It's going to definitely be an interesting game, Wyatt, and we'll bring you all the action right here on the South SD Mines underscore esports channel right here on twitch.tv. Like I said, make sure you invite your friends on Facebook. Get them here. Yeah, Let's have get some the fun. whole family here. Get the whole family. Last week we had Wyatt's mom. On, yeah, there was on a couple chat. moms in yeah, the there chat. Was a couple moms. So. If his mom can use Twitch chat, then I think we're fine. <laughs> I think, yeah, they're catching up. They're catching up, ladies and gentlemen. And Soon you'll be watching us in your living room on maybe, what, hey. Midco Sports? No, probably not. Not that far. <laughs> <laughs> but you will you could watch us in your living room if you have a Fire TV or a Chromecast. Yeah. I'm just going to move that a little bit. There we go. By the way, who keeps, is this you that keeps turning down the music? Um, I don't think so. I never play on this computer. Whoever uses this computer, quit turning it off. I turn it music. off on my computer at home, though. I do, too, but... I'm pretty sure the settings are... Actually, maybe it is my settings. Yeah, actually, since it's my account. Rip. All right, here we go. Underway, both sides, grabbing the top side of the map for the jungle camps, and here we go. Yep. We're going to definitely see this mid lane once... once Yuki hits six. It's definitely going to be a bloodbath for a while. Yeah, I'm curious if there's going to be any early kills in this one. Double TP for Concordia, both in the mid and top lane. So that would be nice for them to roam around the map a little bit more and make some plays. Yuki's going to hit level two first. And they are Facts. almost to level yeah, they are almost there. Yuki's getting some good poke. Dodges out on the charm there. Great foot, good footstep. Yeah, great. 
Some good fleet work. Yeah. Good footwork. Oh, oh and the bind hits. Both 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 the bot laners are level you two. You would have right swore now. that Lawrence went AFK there when that hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the BM. <laughs> <laughs> the no, the bot just the poking fun at the bind duration. God, that's pretty dude. ridiculous. Oh, just that's what you're making. Fun. Yeah. Okay. The way you said it though was <laughs> No was oh, a yeah. little be uh, <laughs> just saying, all right. Oh, and a nice little trade of damage Ooh, there from I think undervalued. Undervalued man. might. He doesn't have ignite, so he's yeah. not gonna try and really kill pressure that, so Yeah. He was just seeing if maybe he could maybe push forward and get a flash out Woo! of him. Ooh and Oh, this might be first blood. Oh. Undervalue has to flash out, and there's the flash from Fax and Logic, but oh, and he, and Fax and Logic ends up with first blood. Yeah, there was just like they were both teasing around their cooldowns, and it looked like Fax and Logic knew his kill pressure a little bit better. Although gr undervalued was just one auto attack away from yeah. pulling off that kill. Undervalue was very close of getting that. And he stayed, so this actually, he might go all in on this. He could. He could, he but that's flash. a massive minion wave, and you would take a ton of damage just from yeah. the minions. Not really worth. Just some trading happening back and forth in this bot lane. Not really a kill pressure lane. So Sam, getting some uh, damage in when he can. But you can see the CS in the jungle in the mid lane starting to... It's uh, way different. Ex yeah, starting to find some separation there. You know, c and that was Camille nerves. This is what you were ex what I was expecting is yeah. Camille just to fall down just because you can't. You can't sustain yeah. as well. You're not sustained, not like Karthus who when you queue something, you can get that mana back. And then, you know, you just continue to get mana. And Undervalue is looking for a play here. Yeah. The one complaint I have about Karthus jungle is you have to be really good about managing your mana because you'll th you'll like take a camp without blue buff and you'll be oom um, and it's like what happened? I know, but then you then you just gotta wait because his mana regen is actually very good. Yeah. So you just and his Q doesn't require much mana. No, it only requires twenty mana at level one. So twenty two, excuse me. Yep. Open oh, a nice little sidestep there from Greg Nigma. He isn't gonna get mine. He says no, thank you. You gotta take me out to dinner first. Ooh, and, Ooh, and that nice is damage. A very dangerous position from lunch tray. Yeah. But the bind is going to save him. I think he goes down if that doesn't land. And though. we're looking at the top lane now. Fax and Logic ends up regaining all that health back. And he walks away scot clean. Yep. And it looks like Lawrence is starting to sustain back up. And there's a gain coming in from Silly Learner. And he's going to try and get Yuki to use his flash. And he's just like. Yuki's too good right now. It's, you know, he's right by his tower. Good job not utilizing that flash. Yeah, and so far, a lot of the Hard Rocker Esports scouting seems to have shown up right here because we predicted Concordia was going to put forth an early game composition, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. You know, the early push in the bot lane, the Rennington, and the Camille. So Hard Rocker Esports seems to be handling this pressure quite well so far. Yeah, they, they are handling it quite easily. Could be a lot worse. Ooh, and it looks like Camille starting up the dragon, actually. Yeah, that is going to be a dragon. <coughs> Looking at it, it is a ocean drake. Nope, she's just going to fall off of that. She's going to leave that sucker alone. Yep. Still. Man, Lunch Tray is sacrificing some poke for that. But here now with a 2v2 fight here. In the mid lane, Definitely and it looked like Vanguard just ran out of mana there. Otherwise, maybe a little bit more kill pressure. I was going to say, you would have wanted to continue to press that just because it is Icarthus who isn't able to be as effective as an early game jungler like Camille. Yeah, so. I'm surprised that um, Concordia didn't really want to fight that out once they saw the Karthus, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lissandra was completely oom, um, but they just check each other. Um, and head back off to their jungles. There we'll see Void clearing through his blue, his blue side jungle now heading over to his raptors. And he does have a 20 CS advantage. Yeah, which is at seven minutes quite, quite an advantage, a lot. to yeah. be honest. And Fax and Logic can actually output a lot of damage here with us for Necton, so. Yeah, and I think we're going to see Undervalued start itemizing against that. We're see already has some armor built up. 
Um, looks like he's maybe going for Frozen Mallet first. One we'll of the things that see. we should point out here, Renekton actually picked up Cole. Yeah. So just because you get to the be three, they get the three life on hit. So, um, and you stack it up, and it just gets you extra gold yep. once you finish it off. So kind of a you know we don't see much coal played anymore. Yeah. Um, you know you used to take coal on Lucian. Yeah, back in the day. I think it's kind of a situational item where if you if you realize you're going to be in lane farming a lot and you can finish it at a reasonable time. And there's the ultimate coming in from Facts and Logic. Ooh. Here comes the Requiem. Yuki's trying to make a play here. And, and who is going to pick up this kill is the question. It's going to be Yuki picking up the kill on the Facts and Logic, which I think is a reasonable person to give it to. Yeah. The Requiem comes out there and absolutely does a lot of damage because this, uh, Renekton doesn't have any MR builds. He's going straight damage right away. He yeah. does have the t um, Tiamat. Uh, tie yeah, right? Yeah, Tiamat. Tiamat. And that was just great communication. You yeah. saw um, they were all on the same page. Yuki... Or Yulki, Void, and Undervalued, right? Undervalued went in with the alt, and almost simultaneously we saw the Karthus alt come through, and not long after Yul uh, Yulki came in and picked up that kill. And so. that's how you're going to have to end up initiating fights, is the Malphite alt using uh, Karthus's Requiem Just alt, the, yep. you know, and then having Yuki come on in and clean up. I mean, that's, that's kind of how it's going to go. And some nice damage there, Lawrence. Trying his best to get all the minions he has. He is down in CS, but that's no surprise, especially against a Draven. And for this, I feel like it's the calm before the storm because this Jinx is going to start ramping up. I know it's you know it's hard to stop unless you get three kills in five minutes yeah. from her from ramping up, and that's not going to happen. Lawrence is actually very good at what he plays. Oh, oh, and Draven actually going in for a solo kill there. He wanted that kill so badly, but it's not going to happen. So. Yeah, they got the flash, and actually Grey Enigma threw out his Ignite there onto Draven, thinking they could turn it, but I think mm -hmm. both of them kind of on a different page there. Lawrence yeah. flashed away instead of sticking around. He he did, Dr Draven did use his um, his alt. Yeah. So and yeah, I think Lawrence, Lawrence had to flash that ult because he was dead if that came back through. Yep, so, and another stun from Fax and Logic, but he's going to take a lot more damage this time. And Undervalued has ult, ult. so does Fax and Logic, so yeah. both of them have ult available. So kind of similar kill pressure. I think if Undervalued is able to get a roam to the top lane, they might be able to pull off a kill onto this Renekton. They probably could. I mean, they're... There is an alt. Uh, oh, and there's the ultimate coming in from Facts and Logic. The now return now, alt. There's oh. the ultimate. There's the flash forward. Requiem is up, so just in case, it does need oh. to be used. And no cart assault, surprisingly. Yeah, it it's not available. Just no, it was. Almost. Nope. If you look at the... No, it's, it's available. It's just about to come off cooldown. Oh. Yeah. Those white lines are not very hard. Uh, yeah, very it's kind of hard to see. see. Now it's available. No, man. But I think game. that was kind of greedy. Honestly, you knew the Renekton had alt available. Ooh. And only Death trying to get into play here. The heal having to be used by Lunch Tray. And now here we go. The Requiem coming on out from Karthus. It's oh, going to have a lot of damage. Draven. He's under tower. Lunch Tray is under tower. Greg Nigma is going to try and do something to Lunch Tray. And he's going to pick up the kill there. So a lot of summoners use in that with a uh, Morgana ultimate coming on in. But a one for two. A one for two. Not bad. Not That's bad. exactly what you needed. If you want to try and get ahead in this game, now Yuki is going to push out this first turret plate. And grabs the turret plate. So nice. Good pressure around the map. Now Yuki is going to have to find a way to escape this. Oh, and he, and he was stunned oh, up. Oh, no. That is so sad. Yeah, he's That is gonna, so unfortunate. Oh, nice worth, alt. Not really worth using your alt. Oh, what? <laughs> I think you just go down there and realize that you misplay. Yeah. I mean, he got both flashes for that. They yeah. used a lot. Yeah, they did use a lot. That, so. that is something that a solo, like, a bronze solo queue person would do with their jugglers, both flash over the wall at the same time. Yeah. Not worth. I think Yulki just wasn't expecting how long that stun would last from that Camille. Yeah, that was those. Otherwise, he could have maybe took his, his E a little bit earlier, I think. Yeah, three flashes were used in that entire little sc sc scruffle. So, I don't know. I think two flashes for a kill is n not really worth it like that. Um, It depends on if we're able to punish them. I mean, he, 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 Yuki was able to get a turret plate, 
out of that. So I mean, I don't. Yeah, know. he did get some gold, but if we can get if um we can prioritize a gank mid. <laughs> but I don't know. Karthus ganking isn't the most potent. You're no, you have to wait for the requiem to come up. Yeah, you're mostly just waiting there to get your alt. I mean, if you could get behind and throw up a slow. Yeah, these Draven autos are just doing so much in that. The fact that he has Bloodthirster just let him, makes him sustain. And Ooh, here and we the go. Draven There's just the pulls the trigger there. And now the ultimate coming on out. Here comes Undervalue. TP's in, gets the first kill. Lawrence picks up Lunch Trade. Now on nice. the only death and gets a double kill. And that is a great teleport coming out from Undervalued. Undervalued did a great job there. He I don't, yeah. Great communication, was able to get in, uh, get on them. He lost, oh, it doesn't say how many stacks he lost, rip. He must have not had a whole lot of stacks. I like that, though. Even though he gave up a ton of pressure topside, you're getting Lawrence ahead, who at this stage of the game looks like it's going to be the carry. Yeah, right? and because now they're if, on to the dragon. And here comes a fight. This, ooh, the red team smites it away. Yeah, the... Concordia goes ahead and steals that dragon, but was got punished for doing that. So Silly Lerner loses his life. Now we're looking at the top lane. Yuki is going one on one with this Renekton, trying to do some here. Renekton. The Renekton does have its alt, have his alt. Oh, and a oh. nice ultimate coming in from oh, but Yuki. He baits him. Once again, this Renekton this baits Renekton. it out. What was that? He's been. He knows his. That's the one trick coming through. He knows his kill pressure so well. In his, that's the second time he's um, outplayed with his ultimate. I'm almost thinking they could have gotten the Requiem off there and got the kill onto him, but no. Yeah, um, is it on cooldown? No, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't. Maybe just a little bit of lack of communication there. Ooh, okay. Oh, uh oh. oh this is not going to end well for Void. Void is trying to run with his oh. life, but Greg Nigma comes on him with they, using oh. the Tom Ken Chult. And they're going to zone off lunch tree and only death. So they're going to actually pick up a, f a ton of farm here. Yeah. Zoning them off completely from that wave. And they're going to have to take the long trip around. Good stuff coming out there from the hard rockers. Now we're looking at the towers here. No one has taken a tower. The top one. Tier 1 top tower for the Hard Rockers is about to go down, but they are up a kill. Uh, but the gold difference right now is only 500 with 15, in 15 minutes into the game, which is actually very even. Yeah, and now look at slowly but surely Void is getting super farmed up. Having 120 creep score at f 15 minutes It's quite impressive, and his Requiem is going to be showing that in terms of damage. And right now, this Draven has 70 stacks <coughs> just from his axes. So, Oh, and there's another miss from Morgana's Bind. And now we're going to see what happens here because that's a huge cooldown, to be honest. Because now they, now they can just press you. There's another. They, now that one lands. <coughs> yeah. And one for gonna, two. They're going to need some help here because I think one more, couple more minion wave pushes. And they might lose the uh, that tower in the bot lane. Oh, and an engage here coming out from Camille. Self ultimate from Yolki. Yolki will trying it by to time. Do, trying to get out of there. Gets the E off, but oh, and it looks like it's going to escape. Damn it, correct to Cam. Oh, what? The what was that? Oh my God! Great Nigma is a god now. Lunch tray took so much damage there. The ignite coming on out now. Stay Lawrence is tower. trying to. Find something to do. Here comes the Requiem. Can this be pulled off? That's a double kill for Karthus. And there looks like they might be able to pick up the kill on Ari. She flashes away. Oh, and there's a flash from Greg Nigma. And Greg Nigma's going to pick up a kill. The three for nothing trade there. What a fight. Wow, things just went so poorly there for Concordia University. They just... they. I don't know what the Morgana was thinking because she had no minion waves, and then she just goes for the tower dive and dies before her alt even finishes cha channeling. <laughs> you can't make those mistakes. Blue team got the first turret. Wow, this is definitely going to be worth it for the Hard Rockers. They're looking at tier 1 mid bot lane now, and they're going to pick that bad boy up. What a fantastic play there. And they were just patient long enough 
for Concordia to greed out for that tower. And they pull it together. They grab first tower in the bot lane. Well, they, not they, first tower of the game, but, you know. They had first tower mid lane, got the got the tier one mid and the tier one bot. So uh, yep. now this is what you call snowballing ahead. Now we're transitioning into the mid game. They are 2,000 gold ahead, which is somewhere you want to be in this meta. Is just have a 2,000 gold lead because now we see three people with bounties. Void. With a thousand gold bounty. Yeah, with a thousand gold. He has not died once. Void is playing out of his mind today. Yeah, and his rec rooms are almost off cooldown, so things are going to get scary for Concordia University if the Hard Rocker Esports finds a favorable team fight. And there's another bind coming out from Morgana. Hits. And it looks like they might just prioritize grabbing the turret. Now, Undervalued finds himself getting poked down by the Straven, but Hard Rocker Esports at his back. Meanwhile, the Rennington is getting some free farm in the top lane, pushing that in. So Hard Rocker Esports are looking to make a rotation up there. Yeah, and this Rennington might be a split pushing uh, monster this game. So far, it certainly looks that way. Alton from Grey Enigma, Yoki now making his way. Yoki trying to do some here. The flash coming out from Fax and Logic, and now... Concordia University is on the cloud trick. They don't, the, the Hard Rockers don't even know what's happening. Oh. And it, it's a steal from, from Lawrence. Oh my God, what a fantastic play. The Rocket just coming in they from did have so vision. far away. They didn't even have vision on that, so they planned that right out. And now they're going on to the Rift Herald. This might be a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. But the Rift Herald's going to go down. It's going <laughs> to go on over to Void. And Renekton Ultimate coming on out. Now they got to be careful. Here comes Silly Learner on the Camille. Void is unstoppable now because Camille goes down. Oh, and, and here the Renekton got eight by it. Tom there. And now there's another shutdown. That is, and this might just be it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There's the double kill for, triple kill, actually, for Void, who takes He's out three chasing. out of four members there. And still has the Requiem. Wow, uh -oh. <laughs> a, a great fight coming out for Hard Rocker Esports, and now they are just going to push their advantage even further with this Rift Herald in the mid lane. And this might be an inhibitor. Yeah, this might be the in-hit push. They do have time to do it. Only the Morgana comes back up in the Camille. Because they have the Requiem still, so their team fight is still so deadly. And, that, and Shelly has a lot of damage still that she can still put out. And she's actually going to continue this push, but the Hard Rockers are going to go reset. What a great push there. They are now officially 4,000 gold ahead. Yes, they are. And I'm honestly really impressed with Avery's performance on Tom Kent so a far. Avery has His ultimates out. have been on point. He has not died yet. He has 10 assists in the game. He has, so he's been, he, uh, he has a good kill participation. 10 of 14 kills today. Actually, no, he's uh, 13 of 10, uh, 13 of 14 kills. Yeah, and that's just a crazy kill That is a 92% kill participation in this game. So and really good stuff. He's just found a way to get to every team fight with his ultimate and bring Lawrence along. So, But that's how, that's how you're supposed to play Tom Ken. Just yeah. finding ways to not only save your ADC, but to get to the team fights. Yep. Get your damage to those uh, team fights on a time at a timely manner. And I'm curious what the next move for Hard Rockers is going to be because when they're in positions like this, sometimes we see them get a little bit overconfident. So we, I want to, I want to make sure, or I, I'm really hoping they pull out and end this game on a clean note. Yep, they're 21 minutes in. The Baron is now up. The next dragon is going to be up as well. It's going to be an Ocean Drake. So that will be really nice. There's another cute Morgana Biden missing onto the Karthus. If that would have landed, he might have died there. Uh, he was 80% dead. <laughs> now, Super Minions pushing mid. We'll see if that relieves any pressure elsewhere on the map. I would like to see this top lane tower go down. Yeah, this top lane tower, this is the only tower they don't have, and the only tower, uh, excuse me, the set, uh, they have, uh, the Hard Rockers have lost their tier 1 mid and tier 
one bot. So, and here we go. Now the Hard Rockers are looking for a fight here. They know there's only th three members in this lane. Lucky Trey is just throwing out the axes, trying to do something here. And now we are underway here. They, the Hard Rockers are going to back off. Yuki and Fax and Logic are going to stay. And Silly Learner just dashing away. She does not want to deal with the Jinx and Tom Kench. Now the Tier 2 bot looking like they are. Go it is going to go down here. They can fight this if they need to. And the Hard Rockers are going to do exactly that. They're going to look for the tower first and then force a team fight. It looks like Concordia University is on to them. So there's another Morgana Bind. Undervalue is a hungry, hungry rock. Yeah. He is looking for blood. Even though he doesn't have any kills, he does have eight assists because of his team fights. So looking at... Yep, and it looks like now Hard Rockers looking to reset. We'll have to see if maybe they start going for this top lane tower. Silly Lerner going to just... Yep, Yoki doing a great job at pushing this out. Keeping Brennington off of the tower, but look at he has blood in his eyes. Now, Yoki and Lawrence. Those are the two people you don't want to mess with on this team right now. Facts and Logic putting out a lot of damage. Yuki self ults himself. But he already got. Ooh, oh, and no, and then there's a flash from Yuki, and Yuki's going to try and do something. But the, the Requiem coming on through, but Yuki ends up picking up the kill. But that was a lot of damage onto the Camille and onto the Morgana. And here we go. The. The Bloodthirster was able to block a lot of that damage. And just when you thought Fax and Logic was about to get out, uh, the cheeky Ignite from Yoki, and then the Requiem comes through for the absolute overkill. I'm re-watching it. The Requiem comes on out, but Yuki just was like, nope. My yeah, he's like, I'm just going to Ignite you. Enough playing games here. <laughs> Finds that kill for himself. That'll be his second kill on the match. Void going to try to hold off this, and he's doing a pretty good job at wave clearing so far. And that's the best part about Karthus is it's very easy Yep, the wave clear. The Q just completely shreds the minions. Literally, you can items. gain muscles from your pinky just yeah. by pressing Q. You press Q with your pinky? Yeah. Like oh, this. really? I press it with, for some reason, I put Q right on my... Or my uh -oh. Ring finger. I yeah, guess. no, I like to have my index finger on on, on, my, R. Alt, on my alt because gotcha. I can. I have so much more control with this mm -hmm. because if I need the alt, I can at least go like this and not misclick it. Mm -hmm. My Q, I'll just you'll see my hands. I'll just be like this on the desk. I'll just Q Q Q Q Q, spamming it, doing. Uh, it's kind of weird. You're weird. Just bro. Karthus things. You're just weird. The I way feel like play. I know other people that do that too. Uh, it's like so you can have tab on your. Uh, I do. Uh, so I you just can ta easily tab with your pinky. I, just, I, just I guess moved. you could do that as well. Like, I like think that. it's more of just that's how I started playing, and I just never. Oh. You know. See, this is a it's natural. It's those things position. where you just get ingrained. Yeah. Like when you type something, this is how you naturally type. I don't. I put my. You mean put on ASD? Yeah, right? an ASD. ASDF. Yeah. This is how you would naturally type something. You just move it up. Yeah. Oh no! And here's facts and logic. Oh, he is he trapped moved. between four members of the Hard Rockers. He just pops his alt, but it is all it, it, over it, he, for him. He just knows it, too. Yuki picks up another kill. He's 3-2-3. Three, and three. and this, this might be the Baron pickup for Hard Rocker Esports. They do not have any vision on Concordia, so this is a risky call. So they do know that it's happening just because they did have a have a ward on it before the control ward came down. But oh. Undervalue goes on in with his ultimate. Silly Learner goes down. Lawrence is on a rampage. And now the blue team, a hard rocker, slain Baron. And we're going to get a Baron for four and a half minutes here. Yep. They're just cleaning up in this. Look at this Draven CS. <laughs> He's just been in the bot lane farming yeah. wave after wave. He needs it, though. If 
He know, he understands. He's trying to hard carry this game for his squad. And and I don't think it's going to be enough. Only Dez now oh, is going he's to going he, down. he's going down. Nighty night. <laughs> only Dez cuz void void right now. I mean only Dez he's 0 and 5. Ha. <laughs> Play on words. No no need for the yeah, BM. Yeah, when that Requiem was channeling, I'm like, all right, that Black that's Shield it. isn't saving you. <laughs> that, that Black Shield isn't going to save night. you. Nighty night. And here we go. 18 to 5. The Hard Rockers have a 6,000, 7,000, excuse me, gold lead. And now... Now, th now they're just now this. they're just pushing towers. Yeah, they're trying to, you know, get the, the freest gold on the map, right? Yeah. You know, oh, oh and now... Here we go again. Fats and, Fax and Logic trying to do some again, but he's going to go down. Lawrence has slain Fax and Logic. And Void now goes on the Vanguard, oh, and that's and that a double a kill. Great consume by Gray Enigma on the backside of that to save Void. Oh, and Yuki won and now is going on to Lunch Tray, but Lunch Tray goes ahead and wins the 1v1. And Lawrence is now on a killing spree, and that's the ace. And now the Hard Rockers are looking and taking this first game of week four of the uh, game one of this Collegiate League of Legends against Concordia University. Yep. There we'll see him chipping down these towers. Now on to the Nexus and Hard Rocker Esports is going to start this best of three off with a win. What a game there, though. What a game. Clean game from the Hard Rockers. You couldn't ask for anything more than that. They... They played well. They had a little rough start, but then they got with it, and the Lawrence just completely pops off. So we're going to throw it to a five-minute break, and we'll be right back. Make sure you stay right here. Don't go anywhere.
And welcome on back to the SD Mines Hard Rocker Esports Facility. My name is Adam EP500 Thompson. Along with me, Wyatt Soxboy 3 Ingle. We are underway for game two. Yes, we are. So Hard Rocker's picking up a win over the course of that one. So now heading into the second game with some confidence. We're going to give the players the go-ahead. See if they're ready to start it up. But yeah, we saw the Karthus come through in big fashion, going completely unkilled in game one. Some thanks to Grey Enigma on that Tom Kench coming through with some vital saves. So they're just waiting to see here what's going on. Yep, waiting on the opposing team here. <laughs> All right. They there are ready, we go. So we're going to start it up here. And cue the pick and band music. If they will just get in the picks and bands, that'd be good. Yep. Looks like... Facts and Logic does have the start. So, yeah, Hard Rocker's looking to bounce back from a rough couple weeks yeah. now. So, Swins are so. definitely feeling pretty good. Ooh, KDA. Got to do it, man. Game two. Chew the silver scrapes. Just kidding. No, that's, that's only game, game three. three. Yeah. That's game three. So here we go. Champ selection. Darius is going to be the first man. I, I, I like this song. Yeah. This so is do a, I. I wonder how many views it has on YouTube. I think now. it was number one in Korea for like the longest time. Yeah. So Lucian, then Brand. <clears throat> okay. So kind of sticking me, uh, to the same bands here. Go through puberty real quick. <laughs> What do you mean? My voice cracked. Oh, yeah? And I said, Brand. Brand. Now the Karthus, no surprise there. Yeah, no surprise there. All right, final ban of this phase. Zin Zhao taken away. All right, so final ban for Concordia University. Wouldn't surprise me if they take off the Jinx here or um, yeah. Tom Kench. Well, Vladimir. 
Now, it wouldn't surprise me if we pick up the Tom Kench again because he had a 92% kill participation hovering the Teemo trolley. Oh, the Riven hover. We'll have to see if the Hard Rockers are feeling this one. I, I, I mean, I, assuming that, ooh, and it looks like the Malphite's going to be locked in again, I think that's a safe call. That's I mean, a don't, safe call. Don't change what isn't broken, in my opinion. Yep, stay with the playbook. Don't try and change it up. If something worked one game, try yeah. it again. It's 10 out of 10, it's going to work. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just like my Nocturne games. And you 10 see, out of 10 going yeah. to win. <laughs> Uh, probably not. Unless you counter jungle and just int. <laughs> yeah, if I counter jungle and I just int. <laughs> or That'll we, happen. Or we go against an o, uh, 10 and 0 at 5 minutes, Caitlyn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and then the Yasuo. So this could be the bot lane Yasuo that has been um, prophesized from our scouting reports. Oh, now the Jarvan going to be hovered. Ooh, Jarvan's actually really good. Yeah, and it synergizes very well with uh, Yasuo. Locks that Jarvan in just like a pop star. <laughs> now we'll see. Ooh, Kane. The cane. That very actually... little hesitation with that lock in. Yep, Void is very good with the Kane. And Kane is, especially Red Kane, broken. Orianna's yeah. going to be picked up. That's actually a really good pick for Yuki, I think. I like it. It synergizes well with a lot with both of those champions. Kane can really gap close, and so yep. can the Malphite. See, right now, the Concordia, Wisconsin, uh, Concordia University, Wisconsin Falcons were looking at maybe what is called a uh, del uh, ball delivery service, basically, which is where you know you have somebody who can just you have a team synergize around the Oriana who can just throw out the, her ball. Alt them and they collapse. I mean that's yep. that's literally how it goes. But it looks like it's not going to happen now. Um, usually, like Brom is really good, Jarvin. So Miss Farting can be taken off the table now. That it is. Ooh, and they're just yeah. This is most definitely a Yasuo Nautilus bot lane. Exactly what they had pulled out during one of their wins last week. It's okay. I I I think we can have confidence in Lawrence with yeah. this. I think. What they got to do bot lane is really play something that has knockup. So when that Yasuo comes in, you can immediately CC him. You know, no more autos are going to get across. So I think I like Alistair, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing actually Braum. Braum? Yeah, I think Braum works too because you can apply that passive. Yeah, Braum is really, really good in this just because, you know, he throws the tornado, just shield it. Yep. So they're going to take out the Tom Kench, no Which, surprise. Yeah, I don't think that's an issue. I think Tom Kench is probably not that great against Yasuo. <laughs> no, it doesn't work out too well. <laughs> Unless you get really good late game. Mm -hmm. that, that's really about it. So we'll see here. Do you have a piece of paper? I don't think so. With a pen or something? Here. Got some, some paper here. These release forms. Do you have a pen? Yep. There's a whole bunch of them. All right. So now we're down to the final pick phase. What does this say? Oh. Here. Now the rye is going to be picked up. All right, so final picks coming in for the Hard Rockers here. The vein, I Ooh, like it. Ooh, the vein. I like that too. That's also really good in Tiasso because you can just shoot him backwards. Now, Trundle. Volley Bear. These are some very misleading champion hovers. Okay, I think they're giving Avery a little bit of freedom here, and the Leona locked in. I like it. You don't like it, Adam? I don't like it. Why? 
He can still get his tornado off, and if he does before the Leona comes in onto Vane, he can go right to Vane. True. That we'll is have a, to watch for that. That is actually... I think he has to get that far, though. I think bef pre-level 6, they get destroyed. <laughs> pre-level 6, yeah. They, but, get, they get absolutely destroyed you know, pre-level 6. I just... Wait, I, and let's see if they move the SWAT champs here. It could... There's no way they're going to play Rise bot lane. No. Are they trolling? We'll see. No, there he goes. There he goes. The oh. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure about that bot lane just because. I think Nautilus, you do make a good point with the tornadoes, but like, cause I think until they get to level six, they have like legitimately zero kill pressure. I was going to say, but Nautilus can, you know, knock Leona up before she can dash across. I mean, it's. The support matchup is really not that great. Yeah. I think Van or Lawrence has his work cut out for him. Yeah. His condemns have to be completely on point. Most most definitely. and Because condemn really counters Yasuo's, you know, wave dashing. And then the Leona point click stun is also pretty deadly. All right, so now that we have the spectator delay, anyone in the chat has any questions? Now, now and is we'll the time. answer them in three minutes when we <laughs> when you hear this. <laughs> we'll answer them. I God, ah! I know it's <laughs> the worst. <laughs> like the spectator delay is one thing. Yeah, the spectator delay is one thing. But we have to stream but delay to by have two a minutes. Two minute stream delay feels bad, man. Like I understand okay. the I point, don't. though. I don't understand. I. I make. think it has to do with champ select, because you could you could um you could peek at summoner spells. But it, I, it doesn't champ select last more than two minutes. That's what I'm thinking. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure it does. Yeah, it's over yeah. two minutes. So okay. yeah, so that's I mean, interesting. I'm not too sure why they have it, but we'll follow the rules here. We're all about following rules. Yeah, you don't want to end up like right? one of those. Teams that gets disqualified. <laughs> I don't think we would get disqualified for having not having a two minute stream delay. I don't know, man. I think we would just get a warning. You'd be surprised, honestly. I mean, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen Monte Cristo's like response to why Riot banned him and Renegades. Yeah. And I mean, he blew up on Riot. I mean, mm -hmm. and Monte Cristo. I like Monte Cristo. Yeah, so don't do get I. me wrong. I think Worlds, the world. The next Worlds after they released him was far less quality yeah. than when he was at Worlds, in my opinion. I mean, I will say right now, you know, Monte Cristo can come back if he wants to because this, the ban was through the 2019 season. Yeah. So he gets a return, actually. I think year. he has, I mean, with Overwatch League, he's he, got a good game. He and Doa right now are the biggest casting pair. Um, you know, Doa's really good, except I will say I... I really like Papa Smithy now, but he's not even on LCK anymore. What does he cast? Is he in? He's not casting right now. Oh, he's, he's not? He's okay. taking a little bit of a break. That he did sense. a lot last year. It seems like a lot of casters are taking breaks. Jat's moving to a balanced team. Yeah, but that's that was, that's was been his dream as a game Defi designer. And Deficio went to management. Oh, to management. Origin. Yep. Uh, he's now the uh, general manager of, East, uh, Le of the League of Legends team for Origin. Yeah. Which um, is a good, I think that's a... Yeah. career the, bump for I, him. I, I was going to say, like, he used to be a former player, you know, very good, and this was an opportunity for him. Yeah. Origin. I feel like we're seeing a lot of casters just burn yeah. out. Yeah, because Shox is not hosting as much in the LEC, but she is a freelancer, so yeah. she is doing other things. It's just that, you know, she just didn't want to do lead constantly. I feel, like, I feel like you would get burned out, like... The first year it would be like I'm the luckiest person in the world, but then a lot of these guys are on season six and seven. Yeah, it's like things I'm sure you get know, you really at, rip. Repetitive. You look at Riverton. You look at um, Freak. Who else? Um, Quick Shot, who's been OG. Yeah, Quick Shot. Riv and Quick Shot are, have been yeah. there from those yep. shout or play by plays Rivet have been there. Riverton and Riverton Freak and. Quick shot have been like well Riverton and Freak casted the very first world championships together. Yeah. So we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. The players are not completely loaded up yet, but we'll throw it into the game. 
And there we are on Summoner's Rift. Hard Rocker Esports. Once again, they're up one win. How do I get rid of that? There we go. Sides did not change. Uh, the Falcons actually opted in for red side again. Yep. They just wanted to stay on red side this time around. So uh, they will head to their lanes. Looks like a pretty safe five-point start coming out for both squads. Actually, Jarvan really late to leave Fountain there. Potato PC, I'm guessing. Yeah, maybe. Now we know who's been making these load screens take forever. Dang it. Dang it, silly learner. Ay, ay, ay. And in case you're wondering, we, we are sitting down. <laughs> yeah, we have a sitting setup and a standing setup. So, because when you cast League of Legends, it's not fun being on your feet. We discovered that <laughs> at the eSports convention when we did three straight games without sitting. That might have been more than three straight games. <laughs> we Our legs were just, my legs were shot that day. Yeah. Ooh, and Grey Enigma pulling out that new Leon, Leona skin looks really cool. Really like how that looks. Yeah, that's all right. Ooh, Wait, is okay. this your mouse? Oh uh, yeah, the rock cat mouse. Well, no, I don't use it. It just sits at the desk. Oh yeah. All right, just want to make sure. Here we go. Some nice trade poking happening. Not surprised that the Cinder was picked up into the Oriana. But if I know anything about Yuki, he won't have no problems in that matchup. Yep. Ooh, and there we see a nice hook, actually, from only deaths. That will get them some early harass on to Lawrence. But they're going to have no issue life-stealing that back. With the Doran's Blade and those Relic Shield procs. And I actually, we haven't seen Lawrence on the vein in quite some time. so I have never actually have seen him on vein, so this will be kind of fun for me. Yeah. Oh, that creep block there <laughs> actually looked pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, so far things... Starting off quite slow. Actually, now Void doing some counter jungling up there. Is he stealing the blue buff? Void actually picking up the opponent using blue buff. Jarvan in no position to actually uh, do anything about that. So great proactive play coming out from Void. And there is comes in Greg Enigma now. Ooh, Void coming in up. with the gank. The ignite comes out. Now, lunch trade, trying to figure out where he has to go, but first blood on own over to Void. And that is exactly what you want to do against this lane. You know, shut down yeah. the Yasuo early. Get it to the point where he doesn't want to dash into you because he's just going to take too much harass. So, really nice. Um, Lawrence and Grand Nimba both picking up an assist off of that play. And then, once again, here they go. Only and he's Desi. going to have to flash. Oh, no. Oh, Lawrence greeted out right there for that one. <laughs> he almost had it. He almost, he almost had yeah, it. Yeah, he was pretty weak. Yeah, so he, getting in the back, they're now, they're, now they're both going to back. Um, right now he has 680 gold, so that's yeah. pretty nice. And Lunch Tray actually didn't blow his heal or his His knife, flash. Or his flash, yeah. So Kind of a risky move. Yeah, I think he kind of knew he was going to die regardless, so... Smart play by him to hold on to those summoner spells, and we'll see if they um, they do him anything in this next coming laning. A lot of mana being spent by Vanguard with the Syndra. Yeah, not managing it as well as he could. And we'll have to see if that comes out to bite him now that Yoki's pushing that lane forward. Ooh. Okay, Lawrence going to do his best. Might have to farm a lot of this under tower. And it, Lunch Trace just pushing that in there. So now some more counter jungling by Void. And I really, I feel like the jungle matchup is the matchup to keep our eyes on this time around. Even though the bot Yasuo, um, yeah, that is kind of unconventional, but... No, um, I feel see, like a lot is going to happen I, through these counter jungles. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, the bot, you know, the Yasuo is not really unconventional. Well, I mean, um, it, I'm yeah, just saying no. it's an unconventional bot lane champ. Yeah. A little bit. 
Oh, and Vanguard is going to go down. Yuki solo kills him. Yeah, easy solo kill. Get the get the ignite out and ninety nine. Yep. Right, here we go. Undervalue trying to do some. Void goes up to the top lane. He's going to try and do some here. Fax and Logic taking a lot of damage. He doesn't quite have the damage this game as he did with the Renekton. So Lawrence now trying to escape with his life. The ignite comes on out from. The Nautilus and Greg Dinkler oh, picks up the he kill. Just manages to stay alive. Great oh, no. play. And this actually could be another kill. And Lawrence, Lawrence now, just doesn't want to get close. He doesn't want to get close because they he, landed the stun. Great Enigma is Great Enigma wanted that so bad, and I think uh, I don't know. I, I I can understand why Lawrence played like that. So I I think that's fair play. A one for zero there in the bot lane and. Lawrence and Grey Enigma are off to the races here. It's 3 nothing now, 2,000 gold lead in the first six minutes of the game. Yeah. They're going to go ahead and reset. Actually, Ooh. I think she misplayed that. Yeah, she did. She, masked, she she wasted her E before she queued. I think she thought she had a That's, ball already. Yeah, she thought she had a ball. I think um, I can look back at that. I want to see that. Yeah. There it was. Go back. You went further. E. Oh, she queued first. No, she she used her E for sure. We gotta go further back. Yeah, right here. Watch. She'll blow her scatter the weak and then she queues. Yeah. See? Oh, wait. Oh, that was her oh, Q. Okay, so, so she, she meant to E. She just hadn't, didn't seem like. She meant to E then. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. So, oh, and a, and a nice die, st stun. Oh, my God, I cannot talk. The flash forward on over to Yasuo. Yasuo uses his flash. And now that's going to be a kill on to only Des, who's right now, he's 0-6 for the day. Yeah, I think that's good to give Lawrence that one. And now ball Silly. delivery system. Oriana has the ult. Uh. Ooh, and that was a good flash coming up from Silly Learner. Props on that flash. Because he was a thousand percent dead if that lands. <laughs> yep, that that was good. That almost could have worked. I mean, it's harder Ooh. to do the ball's delivery system basically the it, the way that that should work. Yeah, with in a malfight in a cane. I, mean. I almost feel like this Syndra might get solo killed here. Nope, Void is there. He is going to just go ahead and zone her out. Yep. Ooh, and will Void go for this blue buff? He's he sneaking in. He has way more health. Two levels up on Silly Learner. He's going uh -oh. in for it. Void does have Smite available. Uh-oh. And here comes Silly Learner. He takes a chunk of damage there. I think well, Void should be able to get out here. Yeah, I think Void can. It's going to be a 1v3 situation. Oh, no. <laughs> and they spot him out from the vision plan, and Yasuo uses his ultimate. Lunch tree does. And is going to take down Void. Wow. Interesting. That was unfortunate. Yeah, Void just uh, didn't get the smite off. Your internet must be bad today. What what Wi-Fi are you connected to? Um, Let's check that. Oh, you have it? I hate you so much. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. No, that wasn't me. That's one of my one of my employees that did that. Oh, okay. Here, let's try to connect to this one. Mm, wait, what? Try it again? What? What did it say there? Okay. See, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to have a good network to do this. Yeah. To have a full-on good production, you got to have a good network. Here, I'll go get the Wi-Fi password real quick. So, And while he does that, I'll go ahead and give you kind of what's going on. We can actually check out the gold here. Pretty much even, except uh, Yasuo does have a 100 gold lead. There's almost a 100 gold lead on him. On Lawrence. Lunchery does. But there comes the Leona ultimate. And now the wind wall comes out. That's actually going to be really nice and really big here coming up because Void comes in and slains Lunch Tray. And now they're on to Nautilus, and that's going to go down. So a 2 4 nothing trade there. 6 to 1 kills, and the Hard Rockers. They're looking just as good as they did last game. So, stupid league client. 
undervalued now, trying to do something. He has taken a lot of damage from this rise from Fax and Logic, who, by the way, is a plat. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think Fax and Logic was plat four in that lobby, so. Yeah. Oh, and here comes the Cataclysm. Yuki's in trouble. He has to use the Flash. He's trying to find a way out. And he's almost there, but here comes Ori's ultimate. And, ooh, a couple more autos. In the kind of uh, a wasted stopwatch yeah, there. Yeah, he's going to die. Oh! oh the mid uh, play. He lost, though. <laughs> oh, the another outplay. Wow, they, they have some tricks up their sleeves. They, they really do. I think we're, he is we're, going we're to go down that. here, though. We're rewatching that entire little thing there, but now Nautilus is doing. Oh my gosh, this Leon is so tanky, and now, yeah, under you're under turret there, lunch train. You will You'll pay the that. consequences. Great plays coming out for the heart. Double kill going on over to Gray Enigma. <laughs> I'm, I'm He's so like, I need to get some of this action now. I have a 600 gold bounty. I wish I had a capture card so we could do a replay of this fight. Because this was so dang funny to watch. So what was that? So the Scatter the Weak canceled the Malphite. Watch. It went through, but it didn't channel. Yeah. Is that a bug? No. Was I think that was, that was an interesting interaction. So, all right. We're going to slow it down. That was a very interesting interaction. So, all right. Hold on. Reverse. Jump back. 15 seconds. All right. But anyway, 10 kills to 2. 5,000 gold in the lead. So Yuki goes down here, like straight up. He just dies. Yeah. And there's the ultimate. Watch. He gets, yeah, so the wasted stopwatch. We're watching back this play. And he casts that. You see that? What? Yeah, that was an interesting. What? He hit, like, actually threw out his Q. Yeah, he threw it out, yeah. I think it was just the animation, and then it got canceled. Yeah, it had because to have been. of the... Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, now lunch trade going for an outrageous play here. <laughs> just diving so far past the tower, only deaths now. Channels his recall is... Did he just, like, AFK there because, like, he just did not move that entire fight? Yeah, there was some miscommunications there between Lunch Tray and Only Deaths. Lunch Tray is like, hey, I want to dive to the Tier 2. And then <laughs> Only Deaths couldn't really follow. Zero minion wave to really protect them. Hey, from turret aggro. 80 more gold in those guys' pockets for the turret play. Yep. I wish we had, like, a promotion that we could do. For each turret plate, we'll do something like they do with, like, football. Like, for every field goal that's made or for every interception that's made, you'll get, like, 10% off somewhere. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty cool. Like a promotion with, yeah. like, Taco Bell. Yeah. Ooh, goodbye, Jarvan. The knock-up lands. The ultimate might come out What? What? Void. What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> what did he die to there? Uh, red buff. Oh, red buff. Okay. Actually, blue buff. No, it could, it must have been a. Uh, did he smite him? I think he smited him. Yeah, that was what it was. Uh, makes sense. Ooh, another, another condemn. condemn. And the condemns have been on point for Lawrence, but now he doesn't really have too much to gain separation. Oh, good night, yes. Well, he's now one and six. Lawrence is five and zero. Oh. It's. They are just ballooning out of control there in the bottom lane. And well, you had some doubts I about had, the Leona. I had some doubts. This Yasuo is not playing Yasuo, right? To yeah, be honest. Yeah, he's just playing hyper aggressive with yeah. a disadvantage. Within a he's not allowing the Nautilus to work. Yeah, and stuff. That's why I was I had my doubts is because if if this was able to if the Nautilus actually worked with ooh, and there we just saw oh, oh my God, Yuki getting. Absolutely annihilated there. But here comes Under Valley. He's on to the Syndra. Syndra is like, oh, no, where's where's the Malphite? Malphite doesn't have ult, but, um, yeah, there it goes. Yep. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to win that 1v1, silly learner. Like silly. it's a 6 and one cane. This is starting 5 and one cane. This is starting to look like G2's game yesterday. Yeah. Not a – it's getting to the point it's like – if unless there's a nice big team fight that the 
hard rockers get aced on, I I don't see them losing this advantage. Yeah, they are just have such a massive lead. It's going to be hard for Concordia to claw their way back into this game, especially with those CS disadvantages. Yeah. Major CS disadvantages. Um, Except for the bottom lane, of course. Of you know, course. Yasuo just kind of doing his own thing, picking up Dragon right now, actually. He's going to hard carry this game, I think, but <laughs> the hard rockers realize where he's at. Yeah. Let's and check the Dragon. How much health? Okay. It's an Infernal, so, I mean, good presence oh, of mind to try to pick that up. It still had a lot of health, so they, if he would have stayed on it, they would have found him, but yeah, Jarvan goes down oh, once but, again. Oh, they're just blowing everything, but Grey Enigma still gets out, even after being Nautilus ulted under tower. Interesting. He's tanky. Yeah, he is a tanky boy, and he is going to go ahead and reset, keep his advantage. Oh. Grey Enigma, run. Oh, he tanks the ult. What? Uh, what? What is this game? Oh, my gosh. Void is just going nuts in the... Okay, now the heal comes out. Uh, Lawrence, Lawrence kind of, actually he got did. a really good condemn once again. Lawrence with these condemns. Yeah, and you know Lawrence actually just saved. He saved Greg Nick Nygma yeah, with the for heal. sure, in the condemn. Because yeah. if he didn't condemn Yasuo there, Greg Nigmo. Uh -oh. oh, they're no. coming! In. Oh my lord! It's, this is they're deja vu <laughs> here. <laughs> once. Yeah, nope. There it is. Lawrence I picks don't think up the red. Was that a red buff that he just grabbed? Yeah, that was oh. a red buff. Uh-oh. He doesn't have Condemn for this Jarvan ult, though. Nope, but he's going to do a lot he's of damage. Kiting. Oh, no. Oh, great. great. Goes was down. that a 700 gold shutdown? No, it wasn't. He got 700 gold off that kill, though. Oh. Oh, my. Lawrence, he's in the position to get the Penta. Triple kill already. Oh, no. Does he go for the Penta kill here? <laughs> he's not gonna he, he's he gonna just, run <laughs> that look though <laughs> alright so 22 kills to 6 Hard Rocker Esports with a firm grasp on this game 22 to 6 they're up almost 10k gold it's it's not looking good no it's not looking good for Concordia. We'll have to see if they can turn this around, you know. In League of Legends, such a... I mean, things can flip on the... You just flip around, like, yeah. Maybe not in games where there's 22 kills to 6. <laughs> Trying to give Concordia some hope here, okay? Do you want me to give you that look again? <laughs> that, what you just said is toxic. Oh, Jarvan with a two-person EQ, but Yasuo doesn't knock up until the Nautilus comes through. And they just get cleaned. Just not enough damage. Hard Rocker Esports is just way too tanky now. A stun, a Q coming <laughs> out, and that is all she wrote for the team members of Concordia University. One left, Fax and Logic. Will he be able to pull out some Fax and Logic here to... Get his team back in the game. It doesn't look like that is very likely. Now, another great engage coming out from Grey Enigma. And Concordia University doing a square dance in their fountain. They're going to give it one last ditch effort. But Hard Rocker Esports are going to gather those kills. And take a very decisive 2-0 win over Concordia. Very decisive, very easy to win. You know, games like that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was a I, good game. I, I really don't know what to say. I mean, the Hard Rockers just played well, straight up. They um, played very well. And that, that's how you got to play this, you know, in, in the North Conference. So, the Hard Rockers go 2 nothing today, moving on to 2-2 two and two in the season. So, they'll move up from in the ranks, hopefully, from that. A lot of teams are going to be dropping the 1-3 and three today, I'm guessing. So, yep. All right, well, that will do it for us as we wrap up week four. Next week, we'll f um, we will find out who our opponent is Monday night, and you can find out who our opponent is by going to www.gorockers.com every Tuesday for the sports, the athletics luncheon. 
right here on the School of Mines campus. So Wyatt will bring you information on who we play. And, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. all she wrote. Yeah, good so. game from the Hard Rockers. And looking forward to next week's yeah. matchup. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that follow button. So, And my name is Adam EV500. For Wyatt Soxboy 3 Ingle, we're out.